PMB Rock. What you think about him getting killed in LA at Roscoe's in broad daylight? Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, um, you hear a lot of stories going around about what was the cause and whatever, but uh, just in the end, it's unfortunate that a, another young brother lost his life. But um, um, sorry to say that um, it, it's it's kind of cause and effect around here. You know, me growing up in Compton, um, niggas is jack motherfuckers for rims and shit. You know what I'm saying? You'll get killed for Dayton's back in the days. Um you know, get your house ran up in if you the neighborhood drug dealer and got the sack, you know. So it's just cause and effect, man. And then, you know, you have to um you have to consider yourself a different uh in a different light when you're in uh uh the position you in, man. You know what I'm saying? Um you have to learn how to avoid bullshit. You get me? You know? You're right. I mean, have I been to that Roscoe's? Yeah, plenty of times. Uh, back in the days when I considered myself, you know, still banging and, you know, all that. I mean, even when I first started rapping, um, we used to have a lot of meetings there, you know, with 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 some of my producers or what have you, managers. That used to be a meetup spot. Um the times has changed, though, you know, um, I didn't go <laughs> I didn't go up to Roscoe's uh, with Rolex watches on and diamonds and crusted and all that. So you have to you have to know uh, what situations to put yourself in and to avoid, you know, it's just called being smart, man. You feel me? Yeah, a lot of people were saying that because I had no idea that the area that that Roscoe's was in was in a bad area. But a lot of people from L.A. was wondering, why would he go to that Roscoe's in that area? Yeah, that's the hood Roscoe's, man. Uh, that's, that's that's real neighborhood infested, gang affiliated. Um, not to say that it was anyone af uh, affiliated with the sets around the area, but, you know, that's a vicious spot, you know, Um I'm pretty sure you grew up in places where, you know, that's the hamburger stand where motherfuckers don't go to, or that's the liquor store where we don't go to. You get me? As opposed to in my neighborhood, but outside of my neighborhood, we know that spot. You don't go to that spot. So um, people who are very familiar with LA, South Central, the gang culture, they know that that Roscoe's is is off limits to some, but Hey, to some, if you got that heart and you got that motherfucking bravado that, you know, you wanted them dudes. Like I said, we used to go there a lot, a lot, but it was different circumstances, you know, than there are today, you know, not to say motherfuckers were different than today, than back then, you know, cause we got greedy niggas from back then too, but just circumstances are different nowadays, you know? And not to hate on Roscoe's because it's a very popular eatery. Um, that location is, you know, one of the first original. So if you wanted Roscoe's, you had to go there. You feel me? If you were that, you know, thirsty for Roscoe's uh, back in the days when I was, you know, 19, 20, 21, uh, that's where you went because... Niggas like me didn't travel to Hollywood, you get me? So that's where we went. Now, is there a case that it's going to, is there a chance that it might be an altercation or a shootout or a fight? I mean, but that's just the, that's just the environment that's around that area, you get me? So I was wondering myself, you know, what, what made them gravitate to that particular Roscoe's, you know, knowing the status of him, you know, they're in town, you know, I don't know if he living out here or got a spot Airbnb, Airbnb, was he out here doing promo, whatever, but 
there was other Roscoe's to choose from that you could have chose than going to that particular spot. So it's got to be a mystery to some of his people or people close to him to what made him gravitate to that particular Roscoe's. Not to say you can't get not to say you can't get robbed and shot at any motherfucking spot because a lot of that's going around now. You feel me? That's just what's going around. But, you know, and like I said, not to put a stain on that Roscoe's because it's a very, you know, it's a very well known establishment. It has been for years. You get me? So but who knows? You know what I'm saying? You got to be wondering what made them pick that particular spot. 